me in, I'm trying to fuck. Let me in, I'm trying to fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs> Can't go for this. Hey guys, welcome back to another Six Foot Under Studios podcast. We're here at another place with someone new, but first we gotta thank those beautiful sponsors that keep us thirsty, clicky, and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> that COVID, gonna... we get it, sir. A little hangover. <laughs> <laughs> gotta thank that COVID. It's all cheap, like real, all cheap, like real. Look at it, 3900 Rosa Avenue, Paso, Texas, 79905, right here on the Vitor, guys. Studio two, grab a beer, call one all the time, so it's hot outside. You need a cold beer, maybe five, maybe six, 12. I'll kick you out after that. I won't. I was just saying, is there a limit? Nah, you're too fucked up. I'll kick I was you just out. saying, unless you get really fucked up, right? Yeah. Hey, but then again, that other guy was always there. He he never gets kicked out. Which one? That old guy that's always just walking around. Oh, like making people buy him beer? Yeah, that one. No, we, we just don't serve him anymore. The one that always leaves <laughs> his card there, even though he doesn't pay for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we just never, we don't serve him after that. <laughs> and okay, I was going to thank Vitolas where you're going to get light up El Paso. Uh, Vitolas, look at it, 216 West Frank in El Paso, Texas, 79901, right there next to the baseball stadium, the soccer stadium, the across the History Museum. Sorry, I sounded out for a second. 360 <coughs> cigars, guys, so they don't say they don't have anything for you because they, they do. They fucking do. Light it up, grab a bourbon, get a whiskey, good cocktails, good times, good memories. Everything. Love you. <laughs> Damn it! Again with catch. <laughs> <laughs> and I also got a thing. White knife. White knife. That means the foot, the pond rock foot truck with the smash burgers, the poutine, the snatch real chicken, and all those good street foods. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys. And as always, please be sure to check us out at sixpunderstudios.com, where we like to. Dude, I totally just blanked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh, fuck. That's it's a bit. good night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Again, check us out at sixfeetunderstudios.com where we post all of our stream. Well, God damn it. There's links to all of our streaming platforms, including our YouTube, Spotify, and our Apple Podcasts. You'll also find a link to our Instagram where we like to post anything and everything Six Feet Under Studios. Also, on our website, you will find our local spotlight where we like to feature all of our friends who we've been working with or are going to work with because here at Six Feet Under, we're all about local supporting local. It's very, very important to us that we always care of our local friends so we, on our website we always like to give them a little feature so they can be seen and heard a little bit more than what you get to hear from them on the episode we'll link anything to them a website instagram anything about them so you guys can check them out a little bit more so make sure you guys check that out at six feet under studios.com and also make sure you guys like comment subscribe on all of our videos and all of our podcast episodes wherever you enjoy them oh yeah <laughs> and like we said we have we're at this spot again actually we checked out like two, yeah we're, four at the weeks same, ago. we're at the same spot where we were when we did tino but i mean hey it's a good spot we like to come back to here <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. always changing the background's always changing which is why yeah, i like except it that time it's it was a little fresh white. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> except that time it was all white yeah that time was all white was setting up for this show <laughs> actually, and we talked about this show yeah right? we did i think if you listened to that one you heard us mention exactly when the opening of the show was going to be so, I mean, if you guys check that episode, you know exactly what this is about right now. So, without further ado, Alex, you want to introduce our guest today? It's just one. I don't know. Like, I don't want to say it. You should do it yourself. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, I was like, oh, shit. Now it's my turn? Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, man, you. I appreciate you guys. You put the, the flyer up there and everything. Okay. And, man, I really appreciate that. I saw it and I got real excited and really appreciate you guys for that. Um, I'm Juan Ornelas. And you can see some of my art back here. I'm really colorful. <laughs> I'm a pop artist. I think Tino was kind of describing it, and he said Chuco cool Pop, and I really appreciate that because that's what it is, man. I I love El Paso. I wasn't born here in El Paso. Oh, I was shit, born what? in California. Damn. Oh, so, you lucky bastard. <laughs> you say lucky, and I'm always like, oh, no, I wish I was no, born nothing here. Nothing against El Paso. I love El Paso, but yeah. I always wanted to be in California. Yeah, so. like, no, I hear you. See, I'm, I'm a little jealous. So we're the opposites here, right? <laughs> Bizarro Juan over here. We're in California. Uh, Northridge. Okay. Yes, sir. Cool. We're just born. I was born there, and then we came over here like three months later. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But, yeah. Basically, I think so you, you open your eyes, you're like, ah. And then, <laughs> shit, what, the <laughs> what happened? Because it's hot over here. <laughs> but yeah, man, like it, uh, El Paso has made me who I am. Uh, it's <clears> such a beautiful freaking city. And everyone you meet, I mean, amazing people. You, we're survivors here. You meet people from Juarez, too, yeah. that like, oh, man, the stories that they have. 
it just inspires so much in you and that's why like my art it tends to be about pop culture our border's so crazy you know like we get <laughs> I always talk about this caballeros del zodiaco, right? Oh, yeah. You know, freaking say it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like we be on the TV and we're freaking exposed to crazy things that you wouldn't otherwise, you know, because Mexico, I think they got the rights to those enemies before. No, they just, there's no copyrights. Copyright rights. Oh, they was. Yeah, so they can show them. Yeah, they can show them. Wait, to what? To, to a lot of the sh- like, uh, like shows that you will see like on Mexican TV, like uh, Japanese yeah, 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 like yeah, animes, okay. it's because yeah. there's no there's no actual copyrights. They just freaking show Yeah, you can just show everything. Yeah. <laughs> show everything. That's <laughs> Mexico, man. But, uh, like even if you log into the Mexican Netflix, you're like, what the fuck is all this shit? <laughs> it's all there. <laughs> oh, man. See? <laughs> So you learn something new every day, and I'm telling you, man, it's just such a special place. And like I said, people like you and you who are, like, doing this, it's the energy that we have here. We, we're an island, you know? We're away from all the other big cities, so we really develop our own type of culture here. I like to think that my art is an expression of that, and to make people happy and to have people come in and really feel a piece is, is just the best thing, and... Oh, man, this has been just such a blessing to be in this gallery with Tino. And, oh, man, I can't tell you enough. Tino is just one of the kings of art <laughs> in this city. And to be here in his gallery was just such an honor. So that's been really cool. And I just I got two more months left all the way through July. And uh, I want people to come out and see it and experience it. And you feel like the energy here. You know, got Cheap Dog right across the street. It's yeah. <laughs> Go up here and come over here. <laughs> well, I mean, it, man. it is cool energy because I'm telling you, when we walked in too, I was like, "Holy shit, these are fucking." Because oh, yeah, you're having seen this. These are dope. Like, <laughs> it catches your attention right away and how bright and colorful they are. It's really, they're really cool. Thank you, man. That's that's the hope. I, I really, you know, you see a lot of dark art, and I love that too. But I'm uh, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> hey, yes. <laughs> that's why I was like, hmm, Alex and this. Yeah, it's, it's a change. It's a change. It's a spectrum for sure, yeah. man. So I like bright art. I, I'm a quiet person for sure. I think people think I'm loud, but I, I'm very quiet and shy as hell. And you know, watching Tino on the last one, I was like, yeah, man, I, I feel like I, I'm kind of shy too, like that. But yeah, that's, so my art that expresses that. that part of me that I don't really get to in, in normal life. And so, oh, that's my masties. <laughs> but what what got you to like start like doing artwork, painting, and all this? Got me started. You know, I've been drawing forever. That's the truth. And Tino was talking about too. You, you're drawing on like your journals. You're drawing everywhere. You're taking notes in college, and my freaking notes from college are full of doodles. <laughs> doodles you know, everywhere. Pieces that I painted. You know, like I'm like, damn, I'm gonna go back to that. So art's always just kind of like poured out of me, and uh, I didn't have an outlet for it before. It was just kind of just drawing you know just yeah, do your thing but then you know i went to loft light about 10 years ago and it was the market and i got to see everybody's art like i said i was telling you guys earlier I, I met tino and he uh it just it's inspiring man to see other people do what they do and i was like i'm gonna give this a shot my, my girlfriend valerie she really supported me through it and inspired me to go after it and you know because as an artist you're scared and you think like nah man people are gonna think my like, yeah. art's crap or <laughs> They're not gonna like it, and I'm gonna feel real bad. But no, man, you get over that real quick. Yeah, right? yeah. Once you have your, like your first show, you're like, ah, okay, like there's always gonna be that shit talker. <laughs> but then you're gonna be like, ah, I did it. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> hey, man, and I, man yeah. haters typically hate because it's something they can't do or they haven't even tried to do. So, oh, man, it's that's how it goes. Jenny, the oh, hater culture. I'm actually Jenny. gonna. I'm like, guessing this is Jenny that hates my <laughs> shit. God damn it, Jenny! Jenny fucking from the block. Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> I knew but, I didn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a whore. I don't want you. Probably. <laughs> Gam Gam is not a whore. Gam Gam. That's a good movie, man. That's a good movie. Yeah, man. That hater thing, man. You're like, yeah, I just saw it. I'm like, Joey Delgado. You know, he, um, Dead Punk. Yeah. So he just posted uh, his shirts, and you know, there's trolls on there. So, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, this and that. And it's like, you got to get over that, and you, you just move on, and. Boy, Don't with, feed the trolls. Even with Tina with the balloons, people are hating. I was like, oh, I was man. like, dude, like they're really? different from yeah. What were they saying? Because there's different. There are artists that do also balloons, but like his art is more like opacity. theme. And there's people here like, oh, like you're copying these guys. Like it's inspiring, but it's not the same. Like the fact that Tina makes his own balloons too fills you up. I mean, <laughs> I would say to that, I was like, 
What do you say to musicians in the role when they take a riff or they take a sample from somebody else? Oh, you're just kind of saying, no, bro. They're taking what they do and just developing it into their own. They like what they did, so they were inspired by it. Yes, sir. It's the same shit. Who cares? Yeah, but it's because when he posted the AI, everyone that draws a circle, everyone that draws a circle, I'm like, you copy that circle over there. I'm like, the fuck? That caveman. That caveman? Does he get his copyright from that shit? Does he get his royalties? That motherfucker. Crunk over there. Crunk. Crunk. The fuck? Where's my where's my bones? That's <laughs> right, man. That's the truth, man. It's stupid, man. <laughs> and that's what art is. Art, art really is. It, who's it? Andy Warhol? He said, "You don't don't borrow it, steal it. You don't like yeah. you don't do something with it. Make something with it yeah. that no one else would have." And that's yes. the beauty of it, man. And my art, for sure. You're gonna see it everywhere. With all the pop icons and. I yeah, borrow Felix. so I can <laughs> get back into Felix. You know what it, your art kind of reminded me of? And I'm always, I'm bad with artist names. I don't know if you know who the artist is that did these murals in LA. He did movies or murals based on the Universal Monsters, Universal Studios Monsters. Oh, um, and and he did them at the back lot. Yes. Like yes. these giant, like collage type art pieces, but it was like really pop and bright colored. Yeah, I know exactly what um, you're talking about. Yeah. I, I saw those too, and I was like, oh, those are badass. And yours kind of reminded me of that. I think yours has more color than him, but. I think the style was, I was like, I know exactly what you're talking about. Dope, he man. collaborated with uh, Shepard Ferry. Yeah. Yeah, forgetting his name right now. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. Like, he had some really cool shit. Uh, yeah, he uses, you know, like, like uh, logos yeah, and yeah, icons yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I'll remember. I'll think about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the thing, man. Art, <laughs> art is just the most beautiful, like, fusion of consciousness ever. It's just a great thing to be a part of. And <clears throat> I think. Like, you're a musician, right? Yeah. Uh, see, like, God, I'm telling you, man, you will vibe with any artist. Like, you just understand the, the process and you appreciate it. That's all you can do in this world, man. And Well, yeah, because, I mean, I think that's what all of it is. Because I always think it's fun. Because what we talked about a lot, and I, I don't know if you if you heard the Tina one, what we kind of talked about. I was like, I always like talking to people about the process because I think... The end result isn't, to me, like, the best thing. The best thing is the process. Because I like hearing from people how they do it, what their process is, what makes them tick in that way. Because sometimes when I'm, like, when I talk to the musicians and I'm thinking of doing something somewhere and they tell me, like, so I'm just like, oh, I never thought about it that way. Maybe I should try it this way. And you never know what you'll get. You were so right about the process, man. Like, you, you, you're going to see your, your art finished at one point, but it's the everything in between, the... You know, fixing something that you didn't like in it or going with the flow and the chaos of it all. Like, what yeah. ends up being produced is very different a yeah, lot of times well, than what you thought it was going to be in the beginning. And yeah. That's and we we never really finish a painting. <laughs> Man, <laughs> think about it. that ain't me. I'm like, that's done. I'm done. I'm done. No, I was going to say, like, with this thing, because when we record at his house, like, at the home studio, what we call it, he always has, like, some canvas there that he's working on. And usually it's there for, like... Oh no! No, so it's done. It's just that six, I'm waiting for people to pick them but up. But that's what I'm saying. Like, but I see them sometimes, and I'm like, every now and then I go, I'm like, oh, he had something different. Like, oh no, what the fuck happened to it? He changed it. Like, oh no, what's going on here? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It also depends how you feel too. Like a lot of uh, our work is what you're feeling. Yes. At the moment, so I tell I used to, when I used to teach, I told people like my students like when you feel like shit is the best pain, the best time to drop. That's because you're, you're gonna fucking put everything. Ooh, there. Like you're your gonna, emotion. You're gonna yes, forget sir. about what you're talking about yeah. for a bit, and you're just gonna. It's gonna get really dark, some of them, or gonna be really like opening. Sure. But and that's the best. Damn it! White chocolate. <laughs> and you were telling me uh, the other day that like you're, you're a perfectionist, and you're like, you, oh man, you see something, and you're like, I gotta fix that. And I've gotten to the point where I'm like, as good as it's gonna get, and I can walk away from it yeah. and, and feel like okay with the yeah. imperfection of. Yeah, know. the problem is just being a graphic designer. Yeah, <laughs> like you. <laughs> Like, which is funny because the first thing we learn in graphics, uh, it's the least saying, like, don't don't reach for perfection because they're never going to get it. All right. But then, like, two weeks later, like, they ask you for perfection in class, like, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's an A minus right there. Yeah, I was like, God damn it. I will say that is the flaw in anybody teaching the arts because that shit always pissed me off when I was doing fucking music school, too. <sighs> and they're like, hey, man, whatever you want to do, try something, try something. And then you turn something in, and they're like, wrong, wrong, wrong. I was like, how is it wrong? That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Like, you need to stick to the rules. What the fuck? What rules? What like, rules? forget Mozart's rules, man. I'm trying something here. <laughs> Which is why yesterday I had this conversation, too, because uh, they asked me about my mirror at the brewery. Yeah. It's like, why does it look unfinished? Because when do we really finish a beer? Like, you always improve a beer. 
And he's like, oh shit. That's <laughs> deep. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, you never, like, when you come and try the old gather the first time, it's different from now. Like, we changed, like, yeah, Gatshaw changed the pH levels, changed something in his brain. Change it, tweak it. So it's always like, you gotta make it better. So yes, it's sir. never really done unless you're a manufacturing like, fucking bop boys and it's gonna taste like water all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Secret recipe. Secret recipe. Yeah. But it's just like, always gonna, like, the guy was like, holy shit, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I was like, yeah. <laughs> You're a philosopher. A beer yeah, philosopher. Keep drinking. You're a philosophizer. <laughs> keep drinking because a beer. your tap is still too low. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I mean, that is the truth, man. And I think if you're going to be an artist, you you got to give up on that idea. That's just got to be perfect. It's it's the human part of it is what people really dig and stuff. Yeah. Like, I've had a lot of conversations this with like people who saw the art and I'm like, it looks so clean. I'm like, oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you appreciate that. But what do you feel? And so what they feel that really, really gets you somewhere for sure. Makes yeah. you like satisfied as an artist. Yeah, especially like walking into like seeing so many shows here, but walking to yours is just like the color just hits you right away. It's like holy oh, shit! <laughs> I'm so happy, man. Like it's it's like but like, well, like it's a good thing. And then like I'm so used to like the other people. Well, they do all artwork guys. like colorful, but it's not like. But that's all I'm gonna say. Cool. I think that's why I like this one. I'm, I mean, not, not to hang anybody else, but like <laughs> this is probably the most colorful artwork that I think I've seen here. So it's, it's 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 a change, I guess. Of, um, a, good, a good change. A good change. Like a good change of phrase here. Okay. Yeah, because the walls are the walls are like white. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> you put your paintings on it, and boom, it hits you right in the face. <laughs> Pop, I'm like, man. they're dope. Yeah. So Kristen had hers right before yeah. mine. Yeah. And hers. I mean, her stuff is so simple and clean and black and white and so powerful. And she even told me like, oh man, it's cool to see yours up like that. And, the it's contrast so between the white and the colors. <laughs> <laughs> it is because even when uh, I forget this guy's name that did the other one, the first time we recorded here, I forget his uh, the artist's uh, name in the back. Uh, I'm not gonna but it, it was colorful, but not like, oh, like pilo, 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 yeah, pilo, yeah, yeah. That's right, man. And it wasn't like like in your face <laughs> color, but like walking in now, you're like, oh shit, like yeah, this one's in your face. Man. <laughs> And if you've met me, I ain't in your face at all. <laughs> Is that why you think you do it like this? Yeah. It's like the side of you that doesn't come out much, or like this is how you're going to express it through the artwork? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've always been a quiet little kid. And I was a, you know, I was a jock in high school. I was like captain of a football team. And <laughs> I always had that inside. You know, I wanted to express myself that way. And this has been the outlet for that. And I think a lot of people do it, right? Like a lot of yeah. artists, they can't express themselves the way they can with art. Yeah, because Absolutely. you don't have a limit once you put it on paper. Like exactly. it's just oh, you're just showing everything. It's like oh fuck, so like that's kind of, that came out of you. Fuck, that came out. The of you. fuck is going on there? What came out of you? So yeah. And I've <laughs> seen your art. Yeah, it's you Sorry. Lost it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in that head? Uh, a lot. There's a lot of shit that goes on in that head. A lot. <laughs> you're so dumb. Those are the best people, though, man. Those are the best people. Those are the people that yes. keep everyone. Yeah on their toes and just making people like sit and actually like look at it because that's the best thing when you see someone spending like more than five minutes on one painting you're like he gets it because i hate that fact when you just go and like okay cool and then walk away sure like that's the worst feeling when you have your own art show and you see yeah. people do that and you're watching them the whole time and <laughs> see their interactions and you with music like oh i think you get more because they all dance to it they like feel the beat you know but Art, like you're kind of standing there, like what's what's going on? What are they feeling? And it's tough. <laughs> it's a hard <laughs> thing, man. I don't recommend it to everybody. <laughs> yeah. You're I like, judged. Yeah, I'll stick to drawing my little pictures of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <turn up. laughs> That's coming, man. So, uh, what was like your inspiration behind these? Because I mean, you're saying it's like Chuko Pop, and I mean, I can see like a lot of pop culture references in these. Yeah. But, like, how is, like, your thought in terms of combining how you did with these? So, what's a hodgepodge, man? Because, I mean, if this one's in the picture. Yeah, right. Uh, so, this is, like, a fable. So, I, I grab from the air, you know? Like, yeah. people always say, like, where do you get your ideas? And I'm not sitting down thinking about ideas. Like, a lot of times I'll be walking around or I'll think of a fable. <clears throat> and I'm like, man, I need to express what that means. And maybe people haven't heard of the... Know, the frog and the scorpion and i banned that because i'm like that's a powerful fable it's about our nature like how we have it inside of us like you guys know this fable? no oh, like, like i have never heard, I actually never heard it <laughs> simple fable man and it's about the scorpion he's on like a little branch mm -hmm. and yeah. there's a big flood and the frog comes swimming by and he's like hey you know i'm gonna i can help you out scorpion and i can get you out of here 
but don't don't sting me because mm-hmm. then we'll both die because yeah. you're gonna sink into the water and i'm gonna die because you you poisoned me you know and scorpion gets on his back they ride they kind of like flow in the water and the scorpion inevitably you know he punctures him he kills him he kills a frog kills himself too in the same time and it's just a, a fable about how our nature inside like our it's just inevitable like we do these things to ourselves we and I just call it dual nature because yeah. we have it in us. We really do have it in us to to be that way, to be self, you know, like hurt ourselves and not be kind like the frog yeah. was. Yeah. But like the, the frog too, like it's such a complex thing because the frog was, you know, he he was hesitant. You know, he yeah. didn't want to help. Him. But it's controversial. But humans were were flawed creatures, and that's life. <laughs> so and this one is just. I, I do this a lot. I, I kind of like show somebody who's about to get eaten or like destroyed or something because yeah. it's like oblivious to to what's coming, you know? I, a lot of my pieces are, are death related because I've experienced a lot of death in my family. And it, to me, death has become just a, a, a process that everyone has to go through. And uh, you learn from and you learn to live your life better for, the, for that reason. And, and this one's just, yeah, like it's... <laughs> This is a this is a complicated one because this is a. Do you guys remember the Techno Viking? Yes. Yeah. You remember the Techno Viking? <laughs> he's, he's back there. He's like a meme or like a GIF. Uh-huh. And so I painted him in it. An asterisk, of course, and then the big old tiger always eating somebody. I got a piece like this at the, the Pizza Joint West uh, with the tiger almost eating the a person. Was it a lady? I think. Yeah. So yeah, those, those are my pieces. These are the ones you're seeing in the background. But yeah, way more. Well, and, well, yeah. What, what about is, the tide one with the skull? Again, that so. one, that one catches my eye. I was like, damn, that pink is dope. And that's that's my favorite of the show, man. Because again, the, like death is there and tides. You know, tides People flow. Tide pods. <laughs> tide pods. <laughs> it's called eternal flow, high and low, and it's about like you know tides coming in and out. You know, tide. That's life. I yeah. feel like life and death is just uh, in and out, and you, you learn to flow with it, and you learn to be okay with uh, the possibility of dying. And you know, people keep asking Tide Pods, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, that could be. <laughs> that works too. Yeah. But no, for me, it really is about just that cycle, that process of life, and being aware and living your life to the fullest because you you never know from one day to the next. Yeah, because even the one behind uh, Caesar, and I was surprised he didn't say anything because of uh, Well, I saw I was, I was going to go down to because that's Oswald's face on it. So, uh, Oswald, damn, man. dude. The original Mickey. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> gee, man. He got ripped off. <laughs> but yeah, well, that, that, that traded a person for it. So. Yeah. That one, too. That's, that's about life and death and how it's a rodeo, and we're just, we're just fighting for our lives for sure. Yeah. Some serious stuff. I mean, yeah. so it's bright. But, there's some but it's always like dark and the <laughs> Dark, yeah, man. Because life is that, you know? It's, it's light and dark, for sure. Goddamn Busy life. person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the inspiration, for sure, is just life in itself. And enjoying it, I guess. Because that's the color, too. Like, yeah, yeah, like the color makes it so different. Because even if you had change, you're making it like into like more muted colors. It's going to be... The, ma- the message will be a little... Yeah. more in their face directly but also just the brightness of it makes you think more yes, sir. but especially yeah. those neon colors that i don't know how you get that neon green there Ooh, many <laughs> many uh coats <laughs> a lot of coats man a lot of people ask like what that, paint are you using i was gonna say because these paints are really uh, that gold is crazy man oh seeing that gold it, it goes on real nice and then it dries and, and it you goes can see it really, <laughs> yeah. yeah so i kept doing coats coats, really? coats yeah, i wanted it real bright and yeah. So that one's not in the picture, but that one, that was one of my favorites too. And that's about like, you know, consumer culture and how we worship, you know, like money and, and I like to <laughs> I'm a bummer, but the art makes you feel good, I guess. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, these are so pretty bright. Yeah. Nah, bro. <laughs> like, let, me, let me tell you something about these. <laughs> let me <laughs> take you <laughs> hey, Sorry. Ow. <laughs> We're sitting down now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we Cheers. got chairs. The brewery Stop. open. Take a look. Stop by. <laughs> Stop by. Cheers to that. Cheers yeah. to that right there. You know, These are still yeah. re- refreshing. Um, yeah. You need another one? Um, no, I'm good. <laughs> you need a beer? There's a red beer across the street. No, thank you. <laughs> I, I am not, We're the, not, al- I am not yeah. the alcoholic dad here. <laughs> On a Sunday. I am. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, we always, we always get people at the breweries like 
if we don't like wasting anything so like if we're checking taps so like you had to check the lines or we're always just drinking not like a whole pie we're just having like little samples and stuff it's like uh you drink at work it's like like girl work at a brewery <laughs> <laughs> what else am i supposed to do what well, is like, like my job is isn't that what i'm here for it's drinking. <laughs> it's drinking. Oh, I gotta know what you're tasting. I gotta make sure that the beer you're drinking is yeah, good. Yeah, especially when we had like like guest taps and like we we're like, whoa, like how am I gonna recommend it to people? Yeah. So I'll serve a four ounce just to be like, okay, like it has its flavors and all that stuff. So it's like, oh, okay, I can like, because the first every time we get a new customer, like, like what do you what do you usually drink? And of course, when they say like those like Millers and Butlers, like, oh, we have water for you, man, if you want, but. <laughs> I you can guys, give you a real beer. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot back there. You have like the squirts and yeah, like, manzanita. Yeah, so, like, some people that for the because we're family friendly at the the brewery. Family yeah, that shit so threw me off when we went for the I went the, one of the brunches and we were there. The name is manzanita. I was like, hey, wait. Yeah, dude. Nice stuff. Give it to me <laughs> now. <laughs> so like people don't really like squirt apparently, but. Oh, dude, those people are nuts, man. <laughs> Squirt's delicious. It's yeah. so refreshing yesterday because, yeah, like dude. I said, my AC broke for a little bit. So I was just like, I like, got here and I just ch- I had my liquid dead. And then I had the the square. I was like, holy shit, that square was so refreshing. I was talking about, with, I was talking about that one thing with Amanda. And she was like, oh, we should get palomas. I was like, fuck, I don't need palomas. I just want the square. The square would be so good right now. Like on a hot day. Yes. Fuck, man, that shit's delicious. That, that is square the best, best man. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys saw the little guy inside. I was about to ask. I was like, holy shit, there's more in here. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, dude. It's a little, shit and also a container. Yeah. Right? So the, the, the Squirt uh, logo, his name was uh, Lil Squirt. Yeah. And he's on one of my pieces. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I saw know, I, Well, I didn't know there was a Lil Squirt. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> like Spot. I remember Spot from 7 Up. Spot. Spot. Oh, yeah. 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 So you had a video game. had a video game. I have it on my NES. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. a good game, right? It's actually pretty good. It's one of the back in the day. Back in the day, like, the... Those games were actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. The, the Cheetos one, not that much. Yeah. The Cheetos one. I'm older, so I, I played the Dominoes one. Yeah, the Noid. The Noid? Yeah. I have it too. And that was a good game. That was a solid yeah. game. The second one, oh, they made a, so this guy, you said that, the Noid, uh, he released, uh, he made his own Noid game. Uh-huh. Uh, he released it last year, Ooh. but he did it in the for the N64. So he oh. reprinted the cartridge and everything. And it's a pretty badass game. Like, Re- Damn, so he, like good graphics and yeah, he did like graph. He made it look like an N sixty four game, Dang. but it just it's a three D platformer, and then you can play as the green guy too. Oh, the when you guy. finish it, very. Good. But it's actually pretty good, and he put all the dominoes things like he did it just as a project for himself. And you're like, god damn! Like I, I was really, I, I want to order the cartridge because he makes the cartridge. It's a, it's a clear uh, red and blue cartridge oh. for dominoes. So it's uh, like kind of like the transparent Game Boys. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I was like, damn, I want that. I'm telling you, man. It's pretty dope. That's, that's cool. You talk about that because I feel like you, you know, you're 20, you're 28. 20, 20, yeah. 20 and you're 29. Yeah. I feel like your generation, you guys are so ahead of us technologically that you're you're bringing out repro reproduction yeah. games and all well, this I music. Like games. <laughs> I collect old, game, old school games. Old school. Yeah, man. See? Still, that's the mega, man. It's my favorite game. Got a little bit of both generations. You I guys remember, are. I don't remember what I read, but I think that I read something that says like the generation that we grew up in is the probably like the most well known in the technology area because we grew up before, right, before right, right, right before like the it could took off, see, and in the middle of the takeoff. So like we knew everything before and after. So it's kind of like yeah, because see when you talk to people, you mention AOL and they're like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, I remember you get the fucking disc, I used to in, get the the disc in the mail. <laughs> Three thousand hours. <laughs> yes. God, man. No, don't pick up the phone, mom. Don't, the phone. <laughs> don't do it, mom. I'm playing candy stand. Stop. Stop. <laughs> fucking candy Shit. stand. Get out of here. <laughs> How many of those discs do you think are floating around the ocean right now? Uh, Shit. They're, 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 they're probably in the dump with the Atari. Uh, ET games. No, they picked them up. <laughs> Alamogoro. Yeah, that's that's true. Alamogoro, man. Is and it's funny because the factory was in El Paso. You didn't oh, know? Yeah, oh. yeah. The ET, the Atari uh, cartridge factory was actually is here in El Paso. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's so weird. they drove from El Paso to Albuquerque to drop them off. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Also, El Paso is a. Uh, Wait. So what? I, what's the reason they got dropped off? Like because the they, it was really it's a bad game. Bad game. Uh, so usually back in the day, uh, when he made the game, usually you took about six. Yeah, at but least, they, like, six they months like wanted to quick for the movie. Yeah, so it was six weeks he made a game in six weeks so it has a lot of glitches on it and it's impossible to play like there's not impossible you can do it but it's just gonna like gonna fuck piss you, you off yeah, yeah especially because you only have a joystick in one button but then uh, they reprinted so many because they thought it was like well we're gonna sell a lot because yeah. the movie but yeah, yes, like, the nope. reviews came in and they were like don't waste your time like they were just dumping and it's also like 
right at the end of the uh, 2600 end, uh, yeah. life cycle end. So it was just like, yeah, nah, dude, like, <laughs> this shit's That's trash. Funny. It's a real boring game. I yeah, think. and then when they, yeah. they dig them out, because it was like, I think I said that they should have done it, because it was like the best, like, nerdiest, like, Secret, like but like the little, like a mid. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, the Vankini was like, ah, oh, dude, yeah. like, and they brought the guy who created the game, and he's like, yeah, this is like, they threw that in a bunch why, of other games. Why did they dig him out on purpose, or was because it like they, someone found it and they were just like, oh, they look. did it on purpose because it's one of the biggest like gaming myths. Yeah. Like it was like a like an urban legend, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's a, it started as a joke, but it ended up being real. They wanted to and then it. there's a documentary on Netflix about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. And that's when they say, like, yeah, like, they drove from El Paso to, to, to go. El Paso is the capital of uh, Lucha Libre. Yeah. Mexican wrestlers started in El Paso. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, man. Yeah. That's a thing about El Paso, <laughs> man. Like, you, like, you don't think always, about it. Like, yeah, oh, shit. There's always a little quirk that you hear. And you, I'm very proud to talk about El Paso in other cities because I'm like, man, we, oh, fuck we're you. so weird. We're so weird. And we have all these weird little <laughs> stories. The freaking ET up in Alamogordo, like, yeah. and then the, the Fabrica was here in El Paso. It's, yeah, it's the Saudi factory was here. When you think of it, like, people are like, oh, this is made in Mexico. It's like, the factory is in El Paso. Factory in El Paso. Factory. It's I didn't been know here that. for years. Yeah, yeah, it's though. just the, the bottle was made in Mexico. Fuck you, yeah. Which is hilarious. Like, it's. But you know what's crazy? I really actually just found that out probably like a year or two ago. Um, I didn't know LNF did all that shit. Yeah. And when we had gone over there once for like this little tasting invite thing that they did. I remember being there talking to the guys, and they're like, "Yeah, we have all the jaritos here and everything." I was like, "Wait, what the fuck? That's here?" Like, yeah. yeah one of the here. first bars that I used to work here uh, was a jaritos bar. Uh, so we made all drinks with jaritos. Oh. So like, I will make paleta drinks with jaritos. With jaritos. And, yeah. So that's why, like, I will grab a pineapple, like a bunch of pineapple, cut it in cubes, grab the, the tamarindo jaritos, chamoy, and tajin, oh. and then put a shot of vodka. Fine. That's also it's like your agua fresca refreshing, but it also fucks you up <laughs> because <laughs> like the best. it was like so it's a it's a three second pour for two ounces, but we didn't care about the three seconds. <laughs> <Keep pour. laughs> you went five five yeah. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I'll push it a little bit. Maybe a little uh, sense today. I think I put a little too much chamoy in, <laughs> which makes it work. There's more sugar in it. <laughs> what was it called? What was that bar called? Yes, called Haritos Bar. Oh, <laughs> it was just Haritos Bar. It was like Haritos. it was actually a Naranjito. Oh, I'm fucking good man. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you. Where the motel bar used to be. I was like, called the name of the bar. Motel can, bar? Yeah, I cannot say where it is now because competition wise. Competition wise. But, but yeah. Motel. Also, I like how you keep hint- hinting your job and it's just hilarious. How have I hinted it? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I hint at it, but I never say what I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, for like, you know, legit reasons. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good conversation, too, man. I. I think a off lot ca- of us off the feel, record. Yeah, <laughs> off, the off the record, record but we, okay. we kind of do feel frustrated with like the, the route that El Paso takes and the mentality, I guess, that yeah. a lot of yeah. residents have. It's, it's just hard to do is, anything man. here. Yeah. We, and actually, we talked about it in one of our last episodes because I told them, I was like, you know what, man, like, that's the bad thing here. Like, a lot of times people try and do new things, people try and do cool stuff dude, for people, people forget but about shit, everyone dude. right away just wants to hate on it. It's like, yeah. just give it a chance. They hate it and then they like, try to defend a place that they haven't been in years. See. Yeah. Like, just think about Magic Landing, dude. Like, we yeah. lost Magic Landing and everybody's like, well, we used to have this amazing. It was never that good. Mm-hmm. But also, like, you weren't, they closed because you weren't going. Yeah. You didn't and appreciate they it. They finally cleaned the land. You can, but, because. I was in middle school when we, we jumped the gate. It's still gated yeah. for some reason. And there was like, you walk the, through it at night. We walked at night, of course, because we don't want to get arrested. But there's like, you can see the, the, the teddy bears were crusted on the floor. Yeah, it's sure. like you were stepping. It was, it was a cool place to go. It was like, holy shit. That's it was weird. scary just because like, what the fuck? Yeah, the animatronics are still up sometimes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and like, people were like, well, yeah, we had that and you guys didn't care. When yeah. they took, turned, like I hated that they turned down Asako because it was just like, it's a landmark. No. Like I missed soccer. Like, it's, no. It was just dry. Like, you know, you're going somewhere to the west side just because like, and it's a circle. Yeah. And it was a beautiful thing, a circle, man. Yeah. Really, really, geez, they're so tall, and you just felt really good. It was the tallest men's record uh, back in the 70s. Back in the day, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And now it's nowhere. <laughs> you know, it's great. Right now, you mentioned animatronics, and I just started thinking about Western Playland when it used to be at uh, Skyline State. Mm-hmm. I forgot that that fucking log ride had like two little animatronics on it. They're still on them? They I don't think so. The they oh. took them off, but like. I like right now. I was just thinking about. I was like, "Holy shit!" I think there was like two little animatronics on there because they wanted to make you feel like you were a log right in the forest. <laughs> and I think it was like a little squirrel or some shit like that. Damn, there. I don't remember that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. 
It's just, I don't right. like. I remember being. In a, well, I never went when it was in a circle. I don't. Remember, I don't remember going. Actually, yeah. I don't know if I went. That's kind of but like I like last time I was gonna go to where's the I ended up using yeah, the casino. Summer. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it was. At, that's because yeah. uh, you're like we're already able to like gamble and drink. I mean, that's how I remember going to plan. I remember going like in middle school. Well, a couple of my friends, my kid's mom, like, I guess, they just gave her tickets. She like took all of us and. That, that, that shit was fun. But yeah. I mean, I'm sure, like, if I were to go now, I'd be like. Well, yeah, because now you're like. Yeah, because I mean, parks. now you like going to like the bigger theme parks and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, this again, that's what I'm going to say. Like, I love it for what it is. Like, it's something. Yeah. And it's, I'm not going to be like I people that are like, oh, you should have built a Six Flags. Like, <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> Get out of here. I think we should just fucking do, like, go to the ferias, dude. Like, those ferias are like. <laughs> They're not that badass, but the scariest. Oh my god, yeah, those <laughs> rides scare the shit out of me. Like even the, the little like roller coaster, no, like oh shit, oh shit. The, <laughs> the one that just fucking like goes back and forth, but it does a complete circle. Uh, I've done that one like two like, times, and every time I'm on it, I was like, Jesus Christ, thank God I didn't get it break down. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Is it the JoJo or something? Like huh? That? It's like a JoJo or something. No, it, it looked like, like a little yeah, spaceship, going, and there's yeah. a cage that they just pull over you. And it's just a seatbelt. That's all it is. The case. Well, like, like I'm telling you, like even the little fucking worm just goes around. Like you put the little like this doesn't this doesn't hold. But that's, that, but that's why now. Like, and it's kids. But now I think about I was like, dude, like why do you why do we get on these things? Anything that can be taken down like that and put up, like you should not be getting on <laughs> yeah. it. And then you're like, oh, the support is like a fucking two by four. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a little piece of duct tape. Yeah, it'll be fine. There's a bolt by your feet you or by something. Your <laughs> he was like, hey guys, I found this. Like, yeah, that's cool, dude. Yeah, that's it's a souvenir. Souvenir. Take it with you we got plenty of <laughs> oh but see even like the western plans over here on the west side and it's freaking hot as hell and we don't support and it, it's yeah it's but like, like up, i can't remember the last time i went to what a while that's yeah. like it's probably like 10 years ago actually. i haven't been a lot a long time either. Uh, like, but it's just like now like we were saying last time because a new water park's opening see and then a lot of my friends are models that i used to take cruise with, but, um they were like, they're like, oh, doing a commercial for the promotion for Wet and Wild. Like, since what the fuck? Just because other, like, I haven't heard Wet and Wild do promotions no. until the new ones are opening. It's true. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. That's the thing that I saw too. A lot of people were all pissed off and just saying, like, oh, they're trying to take business from Wet and Wild. But it was like, dude, no, no, they're not. The, those fucking water parks on the opposite side of town. Wet and Wild's over there. But like, yeah. Like, but no one's trying. Our, our forecast. I, the, the train, the train. <laughs> was here. I'm actually thankful for the city because it's it's getting water parks out to like areas that don't have access to that. Yeah, because a lot well, of people hate driving. Because like, everyone's they're like, like, oh, they're not being. I was like, bro, they're more than supposed to be. This isn't Surabon. That's yeah. not what it was supposed to be. Right. It was supposed to be something for that area where they can go and cool off and actually have a little bit of fun in the water. Yeah, yeah like we're not even full summer and it's fucking 190 oh, degrees. Dude, seriously, like, it's not fuck, summer man. yet, man. Yeah, Holy. like my nuts are sweating. <laughs> I hear like you. I need a, like a little fan in my pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pointing right there. It's there just so I can keep it cool. Though, you know, local, man. For the ladies. <laughs> yeah, when you went to Magic Landing, my brother also went. He got uh, cups. Cool, yeah, cool right cups. Up. And they said Magic like, Landing on them. Honestly, cool. I never even knew about Magic Landing. Oh, like, I never knew about that place until somebody mentioned it. It's yeah. probably been you. But yeah, that was even like, what the fuck is that shit? It's a nice looking park. Because we're talking about it. Where was that one at? Uh, it's right. It's a fucking Indian reservation. Well, it was built in an Indian reservation right there on the. Uh, off of I ten. Yes, off of I ten. Yes. Yeah, but it's like you can still find it on maps there. Like it, really? it's still gated. Like they actually finally cleaned the land. Like uh, there's, okay, they, gotcha. you don't see the teddy bears anymore or anything like Gee. crusted, but it's still gated for some reason. But it was because it was an Indian reservation apparently. They had to take. So it. like a lot of things happened. It was built like really bad. Like. Okay. Yeah, there's accidents. Uh, I think a kid died. I don't know. I think like, there's a bunch of shit. Yeah. People, a lot of people got injured. Like, injured. So I think there was a couple deaths too, See. like that. Yeah. But it was just like, oh. but we still in Texas, we still have the oldest roller coaster that's still made in wood, out of wood. Which What's one? it called? Uh, it's actually on Six Flags. Oh, which yeah, Six Flags? A, Ghost Rider. No, no, that's in uh, not very Farm. Yeah, that's not very Farm. Let me give you a look. I have to look for it. Because I listen to annual pass, that's how I go. Get local. It's a good, it's a good Is it the one in Arlington? The Texas Giant? No, uh, let me give it a second. Oh, damn it. Or Tornado my, my, or Texas Twister. Uh, the Judge Roy. The what? The Judge Roy Scream. Judge Roy? Yeah. Okay. It's actually I never made out of it. It's, it's Where is still. It? Um, oh, What's the shit? Uh, Probably Dallas or Houston or. The old towns. I just. <laughs> da, 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 da. 
I don't want to play. I mean, in Texas, accident. the only theme parks I've been to have been Six Flags and Fiesta Texas and Sea World. That's Six the only thing. Uh, Six Flags Texas. over Texas. No, over Texas. So that's, oh, that was in Dallas. Yeah. 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 That's the oldest that it's still functioning. But it's still coaster. like wooden, like it's yeah. still like Bowl, it has Bowling like wooden. it's the only thing that they changed is the supports at the, the bottom. Uh -huh. Other than that, it's still wooden. Don't look for the name, just sure it's not a. He's taking like old school racist Texas. <laughs> That's <laughs> why the name came know. from. My favorite one, well, at least in Texas, was always the fucking Rattler, FBS Texas, and they changed that one like I want to say five or six years ago to a hybrid. They made it steel because mm -hmm. oh my god, dude, that shit fucking hurt like a mother. No. I remember you go down it <laughs> and the thing actually problems. shakes. <laughs> That's the fun and of it. I would get off of it, my fucking elbows are all bruised up. My cousin one time hit me in the head with her elbow. I was like, fuck, <laughs> man, that shit sucks. Your but yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now. But did you notice that you like. Because like, like the other day, like. <laughs> I was taking a shower and I was like, what the fuck? Why do I have a bruise in like, my knee? Well, and yeah, I think dude. I hit myself with one of the, the next, we're canning beers. And I was like, oh shit. The, like, like, you would be hurting like, after the ride and it'd go away. But then the next day you get up like, what the fuck? Why does this hurt? And you look like, holy shit, I got a bruise. Maybe oh, the, the back ride. problem started yeah. in the fucking thing. <laughs> like when they actually, when they first made it, um, I remember watching like this story about it, whatever I was hearing the story about. They wanted to have like the steepest, tallest first drop initially but to the point where like they never really tested it too well so when it first opened a lot of people like came back with like serious back issues neck issues and they started getting sued left and right so like all right we gotta actually reduce the hell on this thing because <laughs> it's, 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 it's too much it's too bad Dude, the it ain't like that no more man yeah <laughs> it's a badass roller coaster now though i really do actually like that one a lot i love wooden coasters those are the ones that you really you feel them and that's an experience yeah, for sure. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. The Ghost Rider is badass Ghost too. Rider's the one awesome. in Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. That one's fucking dope. Colossus at uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain. It's good stuff, man. That we see. That's why we want that here in El Paso. We we, we, we want to go, go to so the same time. You like, want it, but this is when it gets this, this is the thing because people. This is the thing. People want nice things, and they tell them, "All right, well, you know what? If we want to do this." Your taxes are gonna go up to it. No, 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 stop talking about paying for that shit. And that's the thing. Nobody here wants to pay for things. All right, all right. And that's the bad part. Like you can't have nice things without spending a little bit of money. That's the way it works. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's catch up culture, right? Like I was telling you, man. Like, culture, where man. We, we see all the other cities and we travel to them. Like, wow, why don't we have this? Oh, it's like yeah, yeah it takes we money. Have to fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's one of the reasons. Like so, like uh, one of my uncles, he worked for. Universal, and he moved from over there to here because he's like, I missed El Paso. Like, there's nothing like I can actually go out at any time I want. Mm -hmm. And my cousins hated it when they first moved it. It's like, oh, like we grew up in uh, West California. Hollywood. I'm yeah. West Hollywood. And I was like, yeah, but if I call you right now, we can we can meet up in like five minutes. Yeah. If I get over there, like, what are you gonna do? Like, I'll meet you next week probably. Yeah. And yeah. that's if I get up early and then drive. Yeah. <laughs> so when, like, after a year, when they move, they had to move back, because uh, Universal changed ownerships, and they didn't let him be here anymore. Oh. Which that sucks, because his house was amazing. Back and forth, that's crazy. Yeah. No. So he will go his job. Uh, he would just go once a month. Let's see. And then he can do everything over here. Like it was all remote control over here. Oh. But he he built the house how he wanted. Like he had the guest room, the gym, a home theater. Yeah. A uh, bar, pool, <laughs> TVs everywhere. Cause my uncle likes to gamble with uh, all the college games. <laughs> the only rule is non toma ad, and then as long as it's money in the account. <laughs> and uh, he cannot buy a Corvette. Deal. <laughs> oh. But. But then when they moved back, I was like, dude, like, what the fuck? I hate it. Like, I hate it, California now. Like, there's nothing like, you were right. Like, mm -hmm. there's nothing like I can just call my homie and be like, oh, I'll be there, dude. <sighs> like, you're in the to go to the Far East or the Far West. It's like, what, max you lose, like, 45 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Instead of losing, like, an hour just to go 20 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we get by here. We, <laughs> we have our family, we have our friends, and we, you know, we, we get by. We go to shows, and even that, we don't do as much, but El Paso is a special place. Yeah, and like it's, it always brings you back. Like it it's like yeah, you leave and you're like you're like a hate pass and they're like no, it's not that bad. It's one of the like <laughs> it's, you make, it's pretty good. It's yeah. Not, gonna lie. It's not that cool. expensive. It's cool. Not that expensive. Not that expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, can get away with a lot of shit. <laughs> Too much shit. Fun as hell. We have a local <laughs> for all the Mexican candy. <laughs> No oh, man, we're which special. it's the longest name. I actually found out it's a El Paso, this three region of Mexican candy and local. Oh, that's the whole <laughs> that's name. That's the actual name. I was like, fuck this, dude. That's like fucking Shield, <laughs> the strategic <laughs> call name. Yeah, shit. Oh, that's oh, shit. And you guys gotta come up with a short name for that. I yes, because uh, like my car already knows that I'm. Every time I get in my car after my my day job, it's just like. 
five minutes away from the old cheap duck. It's like, <laughs> yes, I know I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I know where I'm at, man. <laughs> it starts to tell you, five minutes to home. <laughs> I was like, well, that's a brewery. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's my home. <laughs> but yeah. That's what Siri tells me. That's I was like, God damn it, Siri, no, this isn't my home. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, but thank you. No, but thank <laughs> like you. You're already opening up here. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, so you, so you guys are musicians and you're an artist too. Like, do you guys feel like El Paso special? And do you see like artists that it, you wouldn't see anywhere else or musicians? I think in a way, just because we get a mix of everything. Yeah. Right? Because like you have people even that move from out of places to come here. A lot of like. We have the military base, so we can. Mm, so God. people that actually like are from the military and stay in El Paso because they're like, oh, like this is cool. Like what I want to do shit here now. What a good. Point, and man. you get like a little bit of everything. Yeah. And then being a borderland, like it's also like you get the like the rapper Little Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Mexico. <laughs> is she still alive? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Did I, I, I actually? I, I I'm ever, pretty sure he lives around this. Place. I only ever saw that one video that he had submitted, and that's all. I, I think just, I still. That's the only I, time I ever saw. I still think videos. he lives around this area because it's Lincoln Park. <laughs> I mean, I'll give him props. That video was pretty dope. But yeah. That was just kind of like what the hell. I mean, I will say that I think. It is a very unique place where you do get a lot of different styles. The only bad thing is, I think there's so much different styles that collide. <laughs> it collides, and like a lot of there's not really like any support for any anything local when it comes to music. And I think no. music specifically. I think art is different. I think art in the recent years has really well, it's blossomed because, in the city. I think it's more because of like the people, like the creators involved in well, it. Because like we have this gallery. Like it's more of us just became a community, mm -hmm. and like I always used to joke, like we used to joke uh, when we were like, oh, how do you know like that that pond? You know Tino, how do you yeah. know Kristen? How do you know all of these people? Like we're honest, because we're all alcoholics. Like we joke about it. It's like we all meet at bars. Like, yeah. like we're all freelancers. So like we meet at a coffee shop or a bar, See. and it's usually more of a bar because it's like well, like <laughs> and you see, we're the weird people in the back like in the corner of, sitting in the front of the bar just drawing on our sketchbooks ipads yes, sir. like i still carry like in my backpack i have my my pocket sketchbook yeah yeah and i always carry like sharpies and pens yeah, and like pencils and it's just like like why are you like are you, i'm sitting by myself having a drink and drawing and like you'll see me with my headphones or you see someone with me, like it's because that guy's just like and that's how you mean like i met uh isaac i mean i've been all of that and yeah. the other thing too that like I, I i think we've talked about this before too i think that kind of prohibits the growth is a lot of people they start getting a little bit of momentum and they just build a huge like the el paso ego is what i think everyone oh. likes to call it okay where you start to think you're too you're too good and you know paso everyone knows you it's like hey dude relax like and they start thinking they're too good for to other yeah, everybody people knows and, everybody. and helping <laughs> each other i'm like bro everybody knows everybody here I'm like <laughs> You're doing what you're doing. That's awesome. That's great. But don't forget, like, you know, man, a lot of people here that helped you. Don't forget those people. Don't forget. Oh. That's the thing that happens. Yeah, and you're just El Paso famous, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know a couple we talked to a couple Yeah, like, I mean, there's, there's some people that get that way. And, I mean, it's it's a sad part. I think they start to get a little too big and the egos grow and they forget about everybody else that's kind of been there for them and helped them along the way. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. You it know? is. Things it happen. Is. Every scene's different, and like you said, yeah. the artists have always been real supportive. And it's just like, like, so it's like, hey, like, what do you do? And especially when you like see someone with their style, and like, you know what? Like, I want to fucking mix it around. Mm -hmm. And I'll throw this like, uh, Adrian, uh, me and him we used to be students together. We used to teach together, actually. Adrian does like, like old school, like Chuco art, like, like Luis Jimenez style. Oh. Not just like, which, because I, I hate the word like this Chuco, like, they just put it like, the barrio style. So it's no, like no, sir. like old school. Like Luis Jimenez was doing great things. Like his pencil work is amazing. Oh yeah. So and my style's a little darker. And when we when we collab, it's just like people are like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" Like that's Chuco, but then it goes like really weird. Yeah, and weird. it's just because we have that mixture of his style in mind. Uh -huh. That when we were teaching, we we, would, we actually teach a class together at the time, and it was just like. Our, the parents were like, like, I know what you guys are doing, but this is so fucking all over the place. But it also makes, like, I never seen my kid said these things to me. It's like, yeah, because you don't sit down and watch him draw or listen yeah, to him. Yeah. But then it's just like, it has that classic, like, El Paso style. But then it goes to, like, a little darker or a little <clears throat> popish to it or a little, like, twist. And it's like, yeah, like, I never seen stuff like that. Cool, oh, no. That's awesome. That's, that's so good. And that makes me think, like, like the artists that are actually kind of making it, uh, Raul the Third, he does uh, uh -huh. uh, 
We do, we do. Uh, I, I low, low riders in space. Yeah, I met him not too long ago, so oh, I haven't like man. I was like, dude. He's kicking so much ass. Like, yeah. He's about to do a TV show. He's amazing. You know, like, uh, Zeke Benya work. Uh, Alvarez from Juarez. Like he's a freaking mm-hmm. incredible muralist. Milo, Milo is, like, and if you guys have stuff at the brewery, like the mural in front of the door, that's Milo. Like, yeah. This Gus is one of the closest childhood friends. Really? Yeah. Oh, see. And you see that art, and you're like, what the fuck? It's like, it's not a hot, it's not hot stuff. Because you see a lot of the hottest artwork, and it's kind of, that least a lot of it, it's the same or stolen from, like not stolen, it's like smart, because uh, one of my favorite books is the Still Like an Artist. Still Like an Artist. That's and right, it's yeah. just like, but they do it like, it's like, dude, you just straight up copy it. Can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a couple artists that. that do that here, but it's like, but yeah. some of them like go and like actually like study every single thing. And they do it. And it's not an homage, it's a copy. If any. I think that's, that's a, I mean, that's a, from what I've seen, like, it's kind of the bad thing. Like, people start to get a little bit of notoriety, a little bit, and like, I don't know what it is. I feel like the music scene definitely like has a lot of, it's it's that's why I always feel like it's weird. Like with the artist community, I think artists help each other, like with and the ideas and like give each other tips. But with the music scene, for some reason, like, I feel like people are a lot more egotistical and selfish when it comes to it. Mm-hmm. And like instead of trying to help one another and say like, hey man, like why don't we work on something or we should do this or we should try it. Like hey, come play with show. Like I think a lot of it, it can be like. I'm getting famous or I'm getting known like Speck off. this is my stuff leave me alone like nah fuck you whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it happens a lot with the music scene I mean I, from what I've seen and from what I've experienced like, even people that come out and like I know fucking killing me shit and I'm waiting for that <laughs> fucking Khalif like you know like he he's not even from El Paso and like he just uses a name yeah and it's like dude like you didn't like you were here for a couple of years like you didn't really grow up here like you're just using what other people like like people forget that Jim Ward, it's here. Yeah. But he's a better, like a better musician, musician. than me. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he he started at fucking sixteen. He toured all over the world with Sparta and at the driving. And you're like, dude, like, but people don't talk about him that much yeah. anymore. Yeah. I was like, oh, because Khalif is doing this. Like, mm, he's not from El Paso. Like, Jim is from El Paso, and he has done a bunch, like restaurants, bars. It's just like, well, that was, that was the thing with him. He got smart because um, that marketing team behind him was smart because they knew fucking El Paso would eat that shit up, and yeah. they did. Like, it got it blew up. But I think, and I think this is the true test because I think Jim Ward, for one, he had longevity. He definitely had longevity with the bands and everything he did. Khalid, like, and I was talking about to my little sister. My little sister who used to really like him, she was like, nah, dude, his shit sucks now. <laughs> like, all of his stuff. Dude, is like, bad. the oh. time that I, like, my niece wanted to, like, just take a picture, and it's like, uh, who are you? Like, well, like, that's this the is thing. Just a picture. And that's wow. the thing. Like I've heard about him. I've, uh, one of my, well, one of our friends. Like he's a he's a musician too. And he said like one time, like before he even got big, he had a, he had saw him and he went to me. And he told him like, hey man, I like your stuff. Like, and he was just trying to ask him questions. Like, what do you do? Like, how do you do this? And the guy just and apparently he was just like, I don't want to fucking talk to you. I don't no. know you. Oh, so like, that's my shit. Leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, so here, Mike. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And and then, why, like Mike is one of the badass that people. And that's know what I'm either. saying. Like I think. <laughs> That's the thing I like. I feel like the arts community here is very one to like help each other and give each other tips. Like, well, this is what I do. This is how I whatever. Yeah. But like, I think with the music community, sometimes people get so egotistical and protective about their stuff that they want it to be like the only ones, and they are not willing to help other people yeah. out. So, so is it like the the competition's like real tough? I, I, I think that's so, what right? it is. It's the yeah. competition, which which I mean is but fine. I mean, competition is great, but it's like. But if you think about it, we we have it we have it here as like. Painters, illustrators, photographers, but I think it's when we talk to Brian, it's just the difference is that you don't know what you're doing for someone else. Like we, as an artist, you always like put your hand up. Yeah. Like as a creator, like in general, like you're doing paintings. Like hey, you know, like I can learn something from you. You can learn something from me. Yes, sir. Like, like we said, like you know, the conversation never stops in anything. Like either with mental issues or anything, but it's just like. Like again, going back to like we meet at bars, and he was like, Hey, you don't know what buying that person a drink meant for them that day, or just having like, Hey, like, I like what you're drawing, dude. Oh, yeah, man. And it's it's just thinking that we're more physical, like, we carry your sketchbooks. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever met someone that does painting or drawing or that does brain making that has him carry a sketch, yeah. sketchbook with them or like a little pen and they will draw on the napkin or in the yeah. fucking receipt. Like Adam, one of my good friends, he fucking, when he tips, he draws a whole fucking picture of the person that 
was helping him as a bartender, like a that, or the waiter. He would draw the waiter, and he was like, "Here you go, man." Wow. Like he he doesn't keep the copy. Like he draws the waiter, and then he gives gives the, it to him. The, the, the tip on the other receipt. Guess what? And I was like, dude, like that's. But like you'll never know. Like you always like joke about it. But if you buy someone a drink, you don't know what that meant for them. Like, yeah. You don't know. It was the day that they were like, and I'm like, you know what? This is. As creators, we're all fucked up inside. Like, yeah. we should, well, like, that's all I'm saying. We're like, quiet, when, but then it's just like... When you're asking about the story of like what happened with the bounce, I'm saying, like, instead of it being like, we're getting better, like this is helping us and we can grow and we can do this, it became more of like, no, this is my band. This is how I want to do this. Oh. How we're going to do things. And that's the thing that, that I think happens a lot. Maybe not just even here. I think you, musicians in general, that's why a lot of bands break it's up. It's a competition. And they, 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 want, they want the spotlight. And it's like, bro, like, who cares about the spotlight? If we're all growing together, that's the, that should be the boring thing. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. But oh. I mean, it happens, bro. Well, <laughs> see, I, I guess that's the difference. Uh, like being an artist, it's, it's it's kind of individual. You're, you're painting your own thing. But the collaboration part, that happens so much, uh, man. Yeah. You're learning from each other. And you're like doing their style and oh El Paso was oh, I mean I can name so many freaking artists and I, I mean I get it everybody wants the notoriety which is great yeah. but I mean you shouldn't knock down your friends no. or your oh, people yeah, no, just to like, get it it's like come on bro yeah. yeah it should be more like hey like I'm here let, let me like bring you over here yeah. or let's see what we can do together to like be better for each uh, projects that we're doing yeah. and I don't uh, know how many just, times I've like I've been thrown a gig from another artist to be like, hey, I can't do this. Can you come in and jump on it? Or when I've been asked him, like, oh, no, like, hit my friend up, Chris Mutado, like, a bunch of artists here, and you hook each other up because if they succeed, then the scene succeeds. Yeah. And then, you know, like, it grows get a, and it gets better. Yeah, it grows. That's the truth. Because just seeing murals around town, like, how many, like, think about five years ago, there weren't that many no, murals. No. And then now you're like, I walk around, like I see a Christian mural, I see a Tino yeah. mural, yeah. I'll see a Dead Pong mural. I, it's great. I, saw, I see Milo. Milo is not even from El Paso. He's doing murals over here. I'm telling you, man. It's El Mac downtown. Like, we're just so blessed here. Yeah, El Mac is one of the best people I ever oh. talked to. Oh, you met El Mac? Yeah. Oh, my God. Kate, when he was doing that mural, oh, I got on the lift with him. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we were there for like an hour and like he wasn't, like we were just talking and just like I just picking up his brain and just picking his brain. Yeah. And he was like, dude, like you, like whenever you're back, let me know. Like I gave him my number, like just let me hit me a text and we'll like fucking make something happen <sighs> or just even if you just want to have a good time and just chill or like have a beer or drink and let's see what we can do just because it's his technique is just amazing like just seeing that spray can like just the, the texture that he does but he does okay and then he is old school like street art because he makes his own hats oh. for the sprays is yeah. that right wow. yeah because i remember like that's the other thing like i was telling my girl and she's also an artist and i was just like back in the day we used to make our own hats like like i've been arrested for doing street art but it was just like we were like playing with a knife and like okay i'm gonna cut the like this change and up. change it and now you just go to the a place and just buy heads for like lining yeah, yeah. I'm like, Fuck, like that's <laughs> cool but yeah. like i remember like having my backpack always carrying gloves with the spray cans my stencils you're like shh, walking out like and why do you wear gloves because there's no pay marks in my head. Yeah, like, exactly. I'll just, and I'll throw the backpack somewhere. Yeah. And it's fine because it's just That's I'll, not the I'll, guy. Probably, I'll probably buy that backpack for like 10 bucks. It was a shitty backpack, but it was just like, if I lose, I probably lose like 20, 30 bucks oh, in yeah. spray paint. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. The stencils, I can make as many stencils. There's always paper. Vamos. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I ain't getting caught. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. If you went to uh, Burgess, you're welcome for the singing pollo. <laughs> <laughs> no, so Burgess didn't close their gates. So I would just would go in and do a bunch of spray paint. Wow, man. shit. Back in about Back in 10 day. years, actually. <laughs> I was 18, yeah, 10 years ago. Damn, man. But it was just that. Like, like I got stopped, but I was like, I like took my glove out. Just like, I throw, like you buy a pack of gloves, and just throw oh. them out. Like, there's no spray matter. I'm all ass out of there, man. Yeah. I was like, I always stop by Whataburger, whatever, and just like, hey, like were you doing this? Like, I don't know, dude. Like, I just got here. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm trying to get a bird. What you talking about? I'm getting my fucking bubble, my honey, honey barbecue butter. chicken strip sandwich. I have so much respect for street artists, man, and graffiti artists. It's yeah, that is the that's the jam right there. And I've always wanted to, but I'm like, nah, I'm I'm a little too big to be running around <laughs> that fast. I think it's just like you gotta do like just one, yeah. and you get the idea, and it's and it's 
like I also the thrill of it, man. I think it's also like growing up skating, dude. Yeah. Like uh-huh. it, it, like I'll kill, like if you want a spot, I can tell you a couple spots that you'll be fine and do it. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, hey, here you go, man. Like you want this? Like, we skate here all the time, and it's always, of course, under the bridge, yeah. under the I ten, and it's just like it's the best spots to do like our work because just a lot of the skaters that come away from uh, outside from El Paso, they skate there too. And, yeah. And I'll give it to Eric Compton. Like, he comes a lot to El Paso and skates here. Mm. And it's just like seeing him on the skate park. It's like, hey, another fucking wall. I know that. <laughs> Jeez, man. Like the the Watt Tower, uh, it's really known on a lot of uh, skate videos. That's why it has the fucking little bumps on the ceramics, <laughs> on yeah. the marble. Because a lot of skaters from out of, out of El Paso come and skate oh, it. Yeah, and it's just a famous spot, but it has the bumps now. But... Like, they still come in and it's like, I'm going to fucking jump it. Like, fuck it. <laughs> Dude, man. But that's a thrill, though. Yeah. It's, it's just not like, fun if it's not thrilling. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, like, which I was, like, we, I went to the locomotives and I thought it was funny that they have the skate bumps on the rails inside the inside the park. Oh. I was like, well, yeah, we used to jump, like, to the school gates. Like, I mean, that skateboard. kind of wall. Fence, but it's just, fence isn't going to stop uh, anybody. No, anymore. but it's different from, like, oh, like, on a stadium, we're not going to do it. Yeah. Because it's like it's easier to get caught there. There's security. Because security yeah. and cameras. But like on a school, like we would jump, like we'll throw the boards and then jump the fence, and then like that's a badass ledge. And if anything, we'll put stickers. Like now, already, like we carry stickers, all of us. So yes, it's just like. Man. Yes, it's wow, more man. Do you have stickers? Forward. No, not yet, not yet. But that the, the one on that wall over there, the Nagas tread sort of yeah. Mean, yeah, that's I gonna be that the next tide sticker. Be a sticker. <laughs> I was gonna say the tide one will be a cool yeah, sticker. Yeah, hopefully everything works as a sticker. But I really want to get that Nagas tread sort of me because uh, so let me go into that one. That yeah. one, that piece right there is a uh, it's a take on the Gadsden flag, and I, I'm sure you've seen this flag on like big old trucks and I'm a gun guy like th- those types of dudes. They're using that flag to like kind of co opt the message. And, you know, I've, I've been kind of pissed off during COVID. And, and I'm like, I'm Pandy. so sick of this toxic masculinity. <laughs> These guys would think, like, I have a big gun, I have a big truck, and I'm an American. You know, like, I'm so sick of that. So I wanted to take that flag back. And, um, you know, I put, um, it's that's not Spanglish, that's code switching. Yeah. And so it's no hagas tread sobre mi. And what it says on the Gaston flag is don't tread on me, you know? Yeah. So I wanted to take that back and say, you know what, that flag is about the downtrodden, you know, the, the underdogs mm-hmm. that people are be like, you're not going to take my rights away. And that's for everybody. It's yeah. not a white thing. It's not a, you like know, you anything, you anything. Know? That's for every culture. And to be co-opting that flag and taking it away from the people who are empowered by it, I thought that was BS. So I'm going to make sure that's a sticker because that needs to be on trucks too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, screw you, man. You're buying a cover someone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you guys went through COVID. Like, I, in the Trump administration, I don't know, like, politics, I don't like going to that, but, like, I think I got really, really yeah, the, frustrated. Yeah, the special yeah. Caesar 10 minutes of, <laughs> I don't want to talk politics, yeah, but here's yeah, 10 yeah. minutes of me. Just, we we just, do it every now and then. A lot of this art was just inspired by, like, frustration and <laughs> that we felt, or I felt personally, and I wanted to get out and be like. So did a lot of this come during that time, during the COVID? So the and thing is, it was going to be only a 17 series piece. Uh, okay. I mean, series. Sorry. And then uh, COVID happened. So, man, I had to keep painting. <laughs> <I kept> painting <laughs> ended up with 30 pieces. But everything stayed along the same lines of like, yeah, getting my frustrations out, feeling, getting my feelings, getting in tune with that. And yeah, I knocked out 30 pieces. Already sold about 11, which is really, really cool. Which I'll give you best because a lot of people that come into the gallery they don't do what you do. I should put a label on it. I was going to say, like, <laughs> like, I was going to ask, because that's, like, one of the first times I had seen labels yeah, on these things, like, pricing, I was like, holy shit, there's who, actually, like... Someone told me, I was like, you got to have It's because there's, like, Pilo didn't do it, and oh. he's trying to get away, he's trying to sell his stuff now, because he's running out of space to store it. Yeah. He's and I was like, dude, it's because you never put a price on it. You got to, Like, man. you got to, like, even if you do stickers, like, you do a limited run of stickers of mm-hmm. one painting, and it's like, well, you want the original, like, I don't have stickers, but I can give you the original, yeah, and this yeah. is how much it is, this size. How do you start with this? Like, do you draw these out first, like, um, and have all oh, like <laughs> Oh, yeah. Set? Oh. Yeah, all of them I've, I sketch first. And I kind of It's a rough, you know, and you, you're really, you go with it as you go, but. So it's doodles. You, yeah, exactly. You doodle, and like, man, my doodles are ugly, <laughs> for sure, man. Every, I think they're, they're just the concept, the man. <laughs> yeah. But that's what you go with, and I think some artists say, like, they just get on there and they start painting. I'm like, I'm, that's you, man. That's not me, for sure. I kind of plan this out. 
I'm real strategic and, and then I execute. Because you're the um, marketing too. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it all mixes in together. Like the person you are, what you learned in school, like, you know, <laughs> everything is very structured and it calms me, man, to, to, to have it planned out and kind of you know, go at it. And, but also like the cool jazz part about it is when you're there and you're like, you know, that's not working. That isn't working right there. I'm going to have to change that. And then you go with the flow and God, the satisfaction you feel uh, knowing that you were able to adjust and not be like in your own ego about like, that's what I wanted. Like that's one of the best feelings for sure. Yeah. Art yeah, I is get a beautiful that. thing, man. It really is. Oh, music. Like, <laughs> forget about it. Jeez. Jeez oh, dude, I have it to me all the time. I, also, I always have ideas in my head. I'm like, this is exactly how it's going to sound. And I'm like, oh, this sounds like shit. Never mind. I got to change <laughs> I like, it. Uh, cause yeah. when you edit the audio, then I see you had to go and download the masters. And I see your songs and I play them with like the fucking cheater. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Waiting for that part to come out. Because <laughs> we have a bunch of songs that you haven't posted. Yeah, I have a lot of shit. But uh, like, because we share, like, he edits all the audio first and then see. I'll do the, the video. That's the one thing that kind of keeps us like a good flow for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, like, we're the website that we used to like upload everything. And uh, I just see like, like, what the fuck is this? And they start playing it. Yeah, like, it's because we used, we used this um this uh, website called Lander for mastering. See, so I all mix everything on um, my garage band, <laughs> and then I put it, I upload it into Lander, and it just like does like a quick, easy, good mastering. It usually sounds really good afterwards, but like so he has access to it. But it's everything. It's the podcast episodes, and then it's all the songs, yeah. whatever, whatever the covers, originals that I put on there. They're all on there. Oh. And I always wonder too. I'm always like, fuck. I wonder if he like goes on and just listens to everything that's on. I do. There. <laughs> he does. He does. I do when it's just mastered. Like I don't want to listen to the rock because I know like you always yeah. bitch about that part. But then I'm just like, oh, fucker, it's like spinning all this fire and doesn't release it on the website. Jeez. Yeah. Because it's our website is that like the if you guys go to the Six Foot Under website, uh, we have we have his original music and his covers and it's check that out. It's man. it's pretty cool. Like sometimes I was like, the fuck you do? Like I didn't. Yeah, there's another original that I haven't put out. And, yeah, and it's just there. Wow. It's pretty good though. Like the the melody in it. <laughs> That's true. True artists like you. Uh, it just bleeds out of you, and you can't stop it at all. It's just flowing out of you every second. Well, that's the same thing. That's why I asked about the COVID thing because I think that's what happened with a lot of us too. Like with COVID, you know, I was like, can fucking? There wasn't a lot of work. Like my like, even my job, we were just kind of like slow down, dude. Yeah. What the hell are we supposed to do? But so like, oh, I had I actually had a lot of time to just fucking. I'm so wonderful. Record and write shit. Be creative. That's what happens, man. Looking so, at the brewery next door, it's like, segundo water is coming in. Segundo. Well, so. it's, it's after church, bro. Everyone shows <laughs> up. Right. It's, it's after the church, man. Ah, oh, man. The El Paso rhythm. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Sundays. Going to, like, where I live, there's two churches, and I'm just like, like I'm already in my front lawn, like drinking at nine in the morning. I was like, go to church. That's cool, bro. He's off. Hell Satan. Yes. <laughs> like today, I'm fucking fixing my AC at seven a.m. in my room. I had a beer. I had a sp- uh, the spicy pickle beer. Yeah. It's because refreshing. Why not? Refreshing. Why not? But I was just like, fuck, it's too hot. And also, uh, I have a fridge. <laughs> oh, you had that best made beer. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's hard to in a can right there, man. Uh, Martin <laughs> House. I uh, love those guys. Been to that brewery. Oh. Uh, apparently, I'm part of their club, so they'll send me like a couple of like tasters. Oh. So I have a bunch of like. I try the Kool Aid uh, pickle beer. Kool Aid. Not, wow. not that bad. Guess what? Yeah. Like, it's not. I'm not going to drink more than mm. one, but it's not like. It's like you have to taste it. It's yeah. Just, yeah. Like, it still has that refreshingness, but also that like the blue Kool Aid at the end. You're like. A little kick. Mm. Like, you know what? Still chill. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, because I'll tell like, grab a pickle beer one when I cook up, and then put it in a red beer then. And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens, man. So guys, I'm just partnering up with all shit, but make a beer. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys, I'm telling you, man. And well, we for- have Marvel here. Yeah. And Lakewood's coming. Also. Lakewood's coming here next week, which is the, well, we guys watching are they, this where, later. Where, where, where are they going, though? Oh, she done good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dope as fuck, man. Well, it's because Marvel stopped by with Aurelia's in here, but they had already planned with Aurelia for the anniversary. Yeah. And then uh, Lakewood, because we have their guest apps a lot. Lakewood, it's, I would say this, it's a hit or miss. Some of their beers, I'm just like, they're like, you can just change the flavor a little bit. But, I've been, but that's just like the fact that I have learned just working with Gus and Ruben, Josh, and Hako. As brewers, like we we were lucky that me and Caesar got to make a beer yeah. here, but it's just like, dude, like 
Just learning how much the pH level, the gravity changes. We'll give up props to Josh. That guy's the sm- one of the, like other than William, that's one of the best brewers in El Paso. True artist. Just because he, he's straight up German and he knows like what he's talking about. Like, oh, this beef goes with this beer. Yeah. Ruben's also like just plays around with the, the classic like Chuco style, like El Paso like taste. Because I'm waiting for the uh, spicy gummy bear beer. <laughs> spicy gummy, spicy gummy bear. bear. Imagine that shit. Now that I don't fucking make it anymore. The yeah, factory it kills anymore. me. They don't make the spicy gummy bears anymore? The factory kills in El Paso. Which one? <laughs> it's a fact. It's a candy factory here in El Paso, uh, GV. Oh. They just make uh, spicy gummy worms and spicy gummy bears. Okay, because I like the Don Jose. Yeah, they used yes. to them. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't them, right? No, it wasn't. Oh, them. okay. It's yeah. GV. Uh, but uh, I was surprised because I went to a local and I was like, hey, you know, they just closed down. I was like, Fucking Pandy. Fucking <laughs> <Okay>, Pandy. <laughs> Destroying me. Pandy the Pandemic Panda. Gee. Or the Panda. Or Pandy the Pandemic Penguin, which we haven't decided which one yet. Big Penguin. <laughs> oh, it's a Panda because the mm, Penguin, though. It's classy. Yeah, I like the Penguin. So you guys have done 50 podcasts, right? Uh, we didn't recorded, right? Recorded. I we think have we recorded 50 57. Seven. Yeah. We'll be 58. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a special for 69. Awesome. Yeah. We're doing uh, <laughs> Edward 40 Hands. Shout out to that. Oh, uh, and we're bringing our sponsors in and a couple of friends. We have a bunch of, like, he has games. Uh, Justin, he has some games planned out Funny. for us. So it's going to be going to be it a trip. Be, it should be solid, interesting, man. man. Be we fun. don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so having talked to all these people, are, are, do you, are you guys feeling like an energy kind of coming up or like it's, it'll pass on its way? Because I really feel like that, man. I, I feel like this is it. I mean, I think there is. Um, I think that's the cool thing about this. There's a lot of things that I think people don't really know about and don't really come to appreciate. And us being able to meet some of these people, like whether they're the artists or the breweries or the, some of the chefs and restaurants, we, people that we just met. That's like, true. I think there's a lot of that. <laughs> there's a lot of things that people just need to go out and see for yeah. themselves. I think, like, I and I think that's the cool this thing. Week, yesterday happened again. Got right. recognized. <laughs> no. I know. But some. Customer at the brewery is like, hey, you do that pop because like, so yeah. he's on. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. That's like, but this is a uh, six bucks. <laughs> <laughs> six fifty with tax. Six fifty with tax. Get no freebies. But, but it was, it's it's just cool. Like I think just people like telling us like, hey, like I want to do a show with you Perfect. guys. Like not having the fact that I have to look to pe- for yeah. people sometimes but it's also people that like I know and Caesar has never met which I always find funny because Caesar will like come up with the best questions mm-hmm. like it's just a partnership we always do yeah you guys like I, I could not do it with myself or I would like if, if I did it by myself it's <laughs> never gonna end it's four hours of just me drinking with a homie That's so but then it's just like 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 it's talking to Tino Tino made it the best explanation to Caesar it's like I could never explain this to Caesar and Tino just did it. Yeah. Like, the fact that he said the whole music and, like, how you, like, leveled it, I was like, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah. that's how you can explain it. <laughs> but it's always, like, and he brings people, too, that I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, I have, like I have with Savvy D, like, I had work with her, but just took, like, a picture and left. And that's, like, all I did. It. And then when she brought it and we talked to her, it was like, oh, shit, you're doing all this shit? And yeah. I'm just like. I mean, I think that's been the cool thing. It's just meeting all the different people yeah. and kind of getting perspective from everybody, how, how they work, what they do, and. That's been the fun part about it. I mean, we're not really doing it for any kind of recognition or writing. If it comes with it, I'll take it. Yeah. But, yeah. but I mean, but I mean, like the whole idea of it that just came about. It's like, hey man, let's just hang out with people, talk, have fun. Yeah, it's just like that's we crack really what it's about. And yeah, it's it's just like thing, yeah. if people always get nervous at the beginning. Yeah, uh, Alex is one of the pictures. Like, that was fun. Shout out to Alex. Yeah. Yeah. You listen like to people when they're doing it. Um, at the first, like, at ten minutes. The first, like ten, fifteen minutes after when we, oh. it's just like us because they're just kind of like you ask them a question like, yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm sir. like, do I need a little bit more? Just give me a little bit more. It's but like, then they start drinking, and yeah. after a while, it's like, no, 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 like, hey, 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 a little less, a little less. Genius. Like, oh, that that was wasn't genius. like, like oh, all right, man. You're starting to sound like Alex. Relax a little bit. <laughs> but no, it's but fun, it's dude. Always it's, it's, it's always really cool to hear people. And then just having like people recommend it to us is like cool, dude. Like I want to talk to him. Uh, I want to like I tell people like I rather meet him them in person. Like when yeah. I like I message you, so but cool. we have. Mm-hmm. I, I told you this like the first like when I talked to you I was like dude I, I met you like 15 times I know <laughs> man I walked up to you that happens so much in El Paso you're like oh I met you already and you feel so bad you're like I meet so many people yeah cause I think I, I, had, I have one of your Godzillas Godzilla Godzilla yeah the ones that you painted Godzilla uh, back in the last Thursdays uh, on the Yard Love 
I don't think that's me. It wasn't like a chill. It wasn't like a chill. It's one of the dinosaurs that you paid it, but I just call it Godzilla because oh, it's hilarious. Oh wait, oh I yeah, know and I bought right. it. Me and Kristen bought it together. Oh, you're the man. <laughs> that's so cool. But it's just like look, like I met you, like I gave you stickers of mine, and I was like, dude, like that's yeah, fine. And exactly like, what you're talking. But it about. happens. It's just like it always happens because like you, uh, we're lucky that our the art community of oh, is growing. Beautiful and man, you meet everybody. Like from last Thursdays to like going to La Parada. Yeah. Just, yeah. Hanging out of places, shows, yeah. and yeah. you're like, "What the fuck is this?" Like, That's the unfortunate part. Man, if I had gotten to like chill with you and talk to you, like, oh, man, like, I'm gonna know this guy forever. I think <laughs> I feel like this. So, oh, I'm <laughs> gonna tell you this, and I'll pass over. You meet people, and you're like, "Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna know you forever," because you just your vibe is so cool. You're so open. You're you're so chill. And like that's exactly Alex, man. Like sure. that's how you feel. Like you know, and I, I don't know. Maybe that happens in other cities. I'm sure it does. It does. But I hear it happens a lot, and you start to like really just appreciate people and hope the best for them. And ah, oh, just well, talent. Yeah, like even you, I used to remember. Uh, I'm going up. But yeah, like uh, one of the things that I have but, like actually like noticed is just like just collaborating with people and uh back in the day uh we used to do this a uh, friend of mine like back to adrian adrian lopez he's been doing a lot of shit lately uh we used to work together we used to work there we used to be students together and we used to have a uh, painting painting sundays mm-hmm. so we all hang out in each other's houses oh. but we invite like we'll invite everybody that we know like we brought melissa mia uh Kristen, uh Denise, all the people that we used to work with, and it's like, dude, Beautiful. this is just gonna be a creative Sunday. It's like, what do you guys mean? It was like, we're gonna start painting just together and see what the fuck we do. Just but we'll, or we'll sketch something on a canvas or a piece of like a on stretch canvas, mm-hmm. and then like I'll do a sketch, I'll fold it, yeah, and then you can see the lines. At the, like you're gonna make something from those lines, <sighs> and then like fold it. And then we'll pass Make it out, but we're also making other stuff at the same time together. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it was just like creative sometimes. It's like we just wanted to see like what we have learned from our students, what we have yeah. done. And it just becomes like the fuck we just made. And it becomes this like kind of like a babushka style, like where you like keep opening stuff and it's just like but it's a trip oh. cake or it's like a fucking big it folds on you, man. And you're like, you're... well, let's just paint it, but you're not allowed to paint your own. <clears throat> ah. So it just fucks you up even more because like, oh like what is he trying to say? What colors should I use? And it's just like, fuck it. I mean, this is what I feel Look with your drawing, your sketch. And it just becomes that. And it's just creative Sundays. Like, we did a lot on his backyard uh, when he bought his house uh, by Escarate Park, actually. Uh, his cabinets, like, where else his, like, plating was, if you open each door, it's all drawn by us. Oh. And, like, even his cousin just threw a bunch of, like, Dragon Ball stuff. <laughs> and then, like, it's like, like really fucked up like really different like styles and then Dragon Ball and then like more fucked up style <laughs> <laughs> and even his fridge he like covered it with a uh, chalkboard paint and we just drew on it and we're just like sketching like we'll do cookouts at his place and like oh, we're gonna do like a uh, like even if I draw a fucking dick it's like someone's gonna put something on it <laughs> and it's just like gonna become us uh, just hanging out it. it's just uh, it's that creative feel like or creative mind just coming together and just doing random shit and that's basically what this podcast is, man. That was yeah, the idea yeah. behind it. Collaborate and see what happens. That's the way you describe it. We're like, fuck it. Whatever comes out, comes out. It only works the one time. It only worked one time. And you're like, man, let's not do that anymore. God, see, and you, you tread the line. You, like, you're a musician and you're an artist. And you, do, uh, you see, like, a big no. difference? Oh, or, <laughs> see? I just do shit. You just do everything, man. You're just creative. I just, you just dabble. I, just, I, just, I dabble, dabble, dabble. I just uh, let the tip in. See how it feels? <laughs> tip my toes. Just tip, tip my toes. Yeah. Make sure you always tip it in. Tip it in. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, don't forget to tip your bar- bartender, blow your band member. <laughs> don't blow your band member. <laughs> oh, God. Well, well, unless you're into it, that's different. Um, hey, man. To each own. Freaking but, musicians, um, man. Yeah, it's always, always different. Like, it's, it's, I think it's like we said, like, just having this art community growing and these different areas just have their own art communities and just coming them together. Keeping it uh, There's still a lot of gatekeepers, sadly, in El Paso. Yeah, yeah, and, the big uh, stuff. That's why I would, like, like I just hate that, the word chuco. Like, not that I hate it, it's just, it just blocks you and there's, like, so is that, like, chuco, like, yeah. keepers. It's, like, if it's not low rider, if it's not a, like, fucking... Cholo or anything else, like, it's not El Paso. It's like, dude, like, there's a lot of See, people man. that do a lot of shit. And I can, I have, like, I have lost murals because of those people. Uh-huh. And it's just like, dude, like, I'm from here, dude. Like, I've been, like, I was raised and born here. So it's just like, don't tell me this is not El Paso because this is what I do. 
uh, you don't get along with those people. You grew up yeah. in that, like, Mexa different uh, yeah. culture. And it's like, I grew up in it. I went, I grew up in Juarez. It's yeah. like, I know what it is, but it's also like, it, like, there's a lot of things that you don't let me do because, mm-hmm. and I have problems with those people. And yeah, like, yeah, it's had, like, good things <clears throat> that you have forgotten, but. Because uh, I have friends that work with them, and it's like a thing they don't know who, like they forget who I am, or because mm-hmm. we had fights, like verbal fights and just wow. idea fights. And I was like, like, I'm sorry, I have to step out from a lot of stuff because of them. But shut up, guys, shut up. That's what we're all about. <laughs> but it's just like, make sure you're like, nice. Fuck it. Be yeah. nice. Like, Be nice. Like, Be nice. Everybody yeah. love everybody. And we're Jack Moon. Everybody love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. That's right. But, uh, <laughs> but that's true, man. Because I call my art Chuko Pop. And I'm, but, yeah, I'm trying but, to make that word just mean everything here. Because it's not fair to just pigeonhole it into one thing. It's it's just the whole culture Yeah, because it's here. pop culture in El Paso. It has a lot of everywhere pop everything, culture. So man. don't be like, yeah, it still has that Chuko word. But it's just like more like. Just look at it. We grew up in the borderland. Yeah, the it's, borderland. Yeah, it's what is even Las so we say, like your borderland is just a word that you shouldn't be using that much, right. just because it limits you. But also, it's just like, oh, I brought that from over there. I brought this from you. Like even if people that go to New York or Jersey or Chicago, like say shit, and then it's like, well, I want to mix it with some El Paso shit. Yeah, it's like don't yeah. call it chuco. Like, you can add the chuco, but don't be like this is just chuco. It's like no, this is. Just everywhere. Everywhere. This is El Paso. Just not just work. Yeah. Si senor. Si senor. Well, well, with that, guys, we're going to start closing up on here so we can let the people enjoy the rest of their Sundays. Yes, sir. So, with that, I just want to thank our sponsors for us. Like always, going to think of a beautiful sponsor that keep us crispy with the delicious beers. Hi. Good. Shout out to Old Chief Dog Brew. Old Chief Dog Brew looking at 3900 Rosa Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79905, right here in the Vidal against Lincoln Park. Studio Stew, grab a beer. It's hot out there. It's the summer. Your ass is swampy. Get the cold, delicious beer at the brewery. We have the beautiful AC. We have live shows outside. We have uh, last Thursday, we have Cigars 101. So don't be a culo. Culo que se raje. Stop by, grab a cold beer. The, beer, the menu is going to change every two weeks. So. Don't say we don't make the beers or they don't make the beers that you don't that you want to drink because they always do. There's some experimental beers, beers <coughs> that you need to try. Shut them out. Always, you want to light up El Paso, light up El Paso. You know what that means. You got those delicious cigars. You got to stop by Vitolas. Vitolas, we got 216 West Frank in El Paso, Texas, 79901, right there next to the baseball stadium, the Chihuahuas, locomotive stadiums, and also across the History Museum, one of the older cigar shops in El Paso, where 260 cigars have there or even more sometimes stop by there they don't say they don't have the flavor for you because they probably do or you don't know that they have the flavor for you but they know stop by grab a good good cigar a good bourbon if your partner or your friend doesn't drink or smoke they have something for them always you can always bring a little sheepdog beer from uh, there from us to there and you can always have a good time there there's people watching watching everything hanging out after the game or before the game also you know what you're hungry but they want to have something different, not just your tacos or just not anything that it's just your basic street food. Shout out to the Pond Rock food truck. That's White Knife, Danny, run by Alex. Alex makes that poutine, that smash burger, that Nashville chicken with the top of tear shrimp and all those mixes that you kind of enjoy. Yeah, guys, and also please be sure to check us out at sixfeetunderstudios.com where we, like, where we post links to all of our streaming platforms, including our YouTube, Spotify, and our Apple Podcasts. You will also find links to our Instagram where we like to post anything and everything Six Feet Under Studios. Also, please be sure to check out our website for our local spotlight where we like to feature all of our friends who are working with or are going to work with because here at Six Feet Under, we're all about local support and local. We want to make sure they're always being taken care of because they take care of us, and we always want to make sure they're able to take care of their families and their friends. So make sure you guys check that out at sixfeetunderstudios.com and also make sure to like comment subscribe to all of our platforms so you can get everything and keep up to date with everything six feet under studios um yeah, caesar we, finally updated the website i did <laughs> sorry i've been behind um uh once again thank you to juan for joining us here today thank you guys it was really what cool. want to promote a good time yeah anything you want to put out there and uh, say anything to show runs through july come out and check it out it's better in person and then uh this is a big one I'm going to throw a big kickback in this backyard at the end of July to close the show. And I'm inviting all the artists, everyone, and everyone who's cool, come on over. We're going to have a good time. Celebrate El Paso, celebrate each other, and 
Yeah, make plans for that. July 31st. There you go, guys. Make sure you guys check them out here at the Galeria de Lincoln, right across from Mochi Grand Brewery. So grab a brew and then come over here and check out his awesome artwork. Make sure you guys check that out. And as always, guys, stay hard. Bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.